The Supervisor Dean Preston also demanding the only grocery store in the city's Fillmore neighborhood stop its plans to close down. We first told you about this last week. The Safeway on Webster Street in the Fillmore has been in business for 40 years. Its owners say the location will be closing in March. Supervisor Preston introduced a resolution today to try to stop that. Ground Force Sarah Stinson uh, talked with the supervisor and she joins us now live uh, in the city. Sarah? Yeah, Supervisor Dean Preston says shutting down this Safeway will ha be harmful to some of the most vulnerable groups in the Fillmore District as this location, it not only serves as a grocery store, but also a bank and pharmacy. A San Francisco supervisor is doing what he can to keep a grocery store open in the city's Fillmore neighborhood. Safeway on Webster Street is set to be closed in March after serving the neighborhood for 40 years. Safeway officials announced last week they sold the property to a company that will turn it into housing and commercial retail. It was pretty shocking to community uh, members. Right away, Supervisor Dean Preston got to work on a resolution demanding the grocery store stay open until the property developer breaks ground. San Francisco wants to stop businesses from leaving by making it illegal. Yep, if you're a grocery store in the city of San Francisco, you better give the Board of Supervisors six months notice before even trying to close down your store, according to a new proposal that's on the table in that city. Let's say you don't comply by putting a bunch of notices in your store indicating to your customers that you are going to be closing down within six months. Well, guess what? Then one of them can say, you're no longer providing a food resource in my neighborhood, and now under San Francisco's new rule, I get to sue you. So what San Francisco is proposing to prevent itself from becoming a food desert from all these stores closing down right away is either you can be sued by a bunch of citizens and a bunch of constituents or you can stay open for an extra six months and take on all those losses yourself. That city is run by a bunch of communists. Now, who are they to tell me as a business owner that I have to keep my store open and take on all these losses or, and that I even have to notify them that I'm going to be leaving the city? That's my business. I get to take my business elsewhere. I don't need the permission of some city elected bureaucrats who don't know what the hell they're doing. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the communist utopia of San Francisco that is basically moving towards allowing residents to sue grocery stores that decide to close down without sufficient notice ahead of time, okay? And this is in response to a Safeway that uh, was scheduled to close in March uh, in the Fillmore neighborhood that is plagued with crime. Uh, and the Safeway decided not to close down after being strong armed by the Democrats that are running that city, basically telling them, hey, look, you have to continue to stay open because we need a grocery store here. Right. Even though you want to close down, even though you can't operate here profitably, uh, we want to force you to stay open because we don't want to create a food desert. Right. We don't want to create a an area where so-called black and brown people can't get access to food easily, right? This is the argument, okay? So Safeway decided initially that, hey, all right, we're going to stay open, okay? They were supposed to close in January, and they said, we're going to stay open till March. And then they said, all right, well, we're actually just going to stay open till January 2025. Glad to hear it's going to be open for another year. Tony Horn is referring to this San Francisco Safeway store in the city's Western Edition. Monday, we learned that instead of closing in March, the store will delay that move and stay open until January of next year. You got to take your wins as they come. This could be accounted for a win, but in another year, people going to hustle around for another place to go. We wanted to stay open, and, and this it's a process, and we'll take it. You know, it's better than nothing. We'll take it for now. While the reactions were positive Monday from those living in the Fillmore and Japantown neighborhoods, there is a bit of uneasiness about what happens after it does close next year, especially for seniors and families we ran into. Well, it makes me feel a tiny bit better, but they shouldn't close it at all because it's too useful to the people here. January is just prolonging the inevitable. I think that they should stick around for longer than that. San Francisco Mayor London Breed was the first to announce 
the city and Safeway reached an agreement to extend services by tweeting this video of her speaking with employees at the store. They agreed to continue to keep the store open. In an email to the mayor's office, we asked if Safeway was incentivized to stay open with, say, extra police officers, which we saw on property when we were there. As of late Monday, we have yet to hear back. Supervisor Dean Preston previously sent a letter to Safeway demanding that they withdraw their plan to close the grocery store in March. He says whatever is on this site going forward, it should include a grocery store. There's a lot of work to do to figure out what's going to happen at this site and make sure the community is involved. But first things first, uh, we're all very relieved and pleased that we're not facing the closure of Fillmore's only uh, full service grocery store in March. Yeah, so you see now you hear that, okay? The communists want to force grocery stores to stay open in San Francisco even if they can't operate in that area profitably, right? Even though they've already signed a deal with another business, okay, another entity saying, hey, you know what, we're going to sell our property and we're getting up on out of here so you can come in and start, you know, building whatever you agreed to build, right, what you bought, right, on your property. No, 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 the communists say you can't do that, right? You can't do that, okay? We're actually going to stop you because we don't want to create a food desert, right? And, again, the reason why the grocery store is trying to leave in the first place, the reason why they're selling the property is because they can't operate profitably. And the reason why is because of the soft on crime policies of these progressives running the city, okay? And the fact is is that in California, uh, theft has basically become legal, criminals are emboldened, and they are quite literally robbing these stores out of business. That is what is happening, okay? And Safeway, not immune to that. Grocery stores have very low profit margins. So, you know, theft is a big deal, okay? Shrink is a big deal. And uh, Safeway, which I believe has been operating in an area for like decades, they're on the way out, okay? Just like a lot of businesses in San Francisco, they are leaving okay because they can't operate there but you know um the communists are trying to stop it okay instead of making the environment more business friendly no they're actually disincentivizing more businesses from coming to san francisco <laughs> because of these uh regulations designed to trap businesses and make them stay and to operate at a loss despite the fact that hey you know they don't want to be there. So let's read about this. A pair of progressive San Francisco lawmakers are pushing a bill that would allow residents in the crime ravaged city to sue grocery stores that close up shop if they don't give six months notice. The proposal by San Francisco Board of Supervisors member Dean Preston and Aaron Peskin would require business to either find a successor grocer or work out a plan with residents in the neighborhood to ensure the availability of supermarket options. Again, this is all communism, right? I don't understand why any business should be required to do this. Why should any business say, hey, I only can sell my business to another grocery store? Again, that significantly uh, lessens the amount of potential buyers okay it makes it less likely you're going to be able to sell your business or to have an exit plan okay which makes it less attractive to invest in an area right so imagine if i want to open up a grocery store in san francisco okay and i say you know what in five or ten years i'm going to sell my business to somebody else you have to make that investment knowing that your options are going to be limited when you decide to sell because san francisco says no 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 you cannot, you cannot sell your business uh, to somebody that's not a grocer, right? So you can't sell your business to somebody else that's not in the same business, which again, significantly limits your options. If you're not operating there profitably, right, as a grocery store, why would any other grocery store want to come into that area and operate? It doesn't make sense. Why would they buy your business if they know that you can't operate there profitably unless they're going to significantly change the business model. That's the only way it would make sense. That's the only way it would make sense. But it would make sense for another, you know, entity to come in and to buy the real estate or to buy the business or whatever and tear it down and build, you know, apartments, right? Which is exactly what I think that the uh, entity that bought that property, that's what they're trying to do. Right. And, and so, again, this is full blown communism. This is what they want. OK, this is what they're implementing here in San Francisco, making it less attractive to do business uh, in that city, a city that is already experiencing a mass business exodus. Right. 
So they either have to do that or they have to work out a plan with residents in the neighborhood to ensure the availability of supermarket options. So basically, you have to invest money. Even if you can't make a profit off of it, you have to invest money if you want to close down to make sure that there's still options for people to buy food there. Amazing. Amazing. Again, um, <laughs> the grocery store as a private entity, again, it seems to me that they are being burdened with the task of having to make sure that residents uh, can have groceries in the area instead of the government making the area attractive for businesses or grocery stores to come into that area and to do business. <laughs> San Francisco is trying to do the exact opposite. They're trying to make it actually less attractive by forcing a current grocery store that is in the area that wants to desperately leave to stay. Again, this is nonsense, absolute nonsense. The Grocery Protection Act, which is based on a proposal that the board approved in 1984 that was vetoed by then San Francisco Mayor Dianne Feinstein, comes amid a rash of retail theft fueled by the city's drug and homelessness crisis uh, that has led to several business closures. I would say it's more than several. Okay, I would say it's a mass exodus from San Francisco at this point. Uh, Whole Foods closed its Market Street location last year after there were 568 emergency calls uh, logged in a 13-month period due to incidents such as uh, vagrants throwing food, yelling, uh, fighting, and attempting to defecate on the floor. According to the New York Times, at least 14 arrests were made at the location. Yeah, so 568 emergency calls over a 13-month period, only 14 people arrested. Again, that's the problem, right? You see the issue here, right? You you see the issue. This is it, <laughs> obviously not a good place for businesses to operate. It's just not. Preston, who introduced the legislation last week, floated the proposal in January when a Safeway supermarket in the Fillmore section announced it would close in March. Safeway, which operates 15 locations in San Francisco, sold the 3.68 acres of the land to a real estate developer that plans to build a mixed-use project that will encompass both housing and commercial retail. So, yeah, this guy basically flaunted this piece of legislation in order to try to force Safeway to stay, to say, hey, look, if you leave, we're going to pass this legislation basically requiring that all your grocery stores have to give this six-month notice or you can be sued, okay, uh, if you decide to close. So Safeway says, okay, we're going to push it back, not just to March, but we'll push it back to January 2025. Progressives decide that, hey, we're going to try to push this legislation anyways, <laughs> right? Screw it. We're going to do it anyways. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. The day before the board was scheduled to vote on the resolution, the supermarket chain announced that it would keep the store open until next January. Yeah. So, again, they used that as a threat in order to try to keep them open. OK, because Safeway realized that, hey, this would affect our other businesses as well, too, that <laughs> low key we want to close. Right. They're probably going to try to close other locations, too. Uh, but again, the, the woke board decided that, hey, we're going to try to push this anyways. The new audience would exempt supermarkets and grocery stores that close because of natural disaster or business circumstances that aren't uh, reasonably foreseeable. In those cases, the businesses do not have to provide six month notice. If a store closes without providing notice to the Board of Supervisors as well as the Office of Economic and Workforce Development, those affected by the closure would be entitled to sue for damages according to the language of the proposed ordinance. The bill would also require that grocery stores, quote, meet and work in good faith with neighborhood residents and the OEWD to find a workable solution to provide groceries available at the location. Quote, it was a good idea in uh, 1984, and it's an even better idea now, Preston said in a press release. Wow. Amazing stuff. Full-blown communism. Full-blown communism. This is what, what is happening, right? This is exactly what's happening in San Francisco. Why the hell would anybody want to do business in New York? Why would you want to do business in Chicago? Why would you want to do business in California? I don't get it. But again, this is why a lot of businesses are moving out of California. This is why they're moving out of California. They're going to places like Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Florida, you know, red states. OK, South Dakota, they're leaving because how can you operate in, in this environment? Quote, our communities need notice our uh, an opportunity to be heard and a transition plan when major neighborhood grocery stores plan to shut their doors. Meeting the food security needs of our seniors and families cannot be left to 
unilateral uh, backroom decisions by massive corporate entities. Well, I mean, look, at the end of the day, if they're not operating at a profit, you can't just force them to stay there and to just take the loss. That's crazy to me, right? Why don't you actually, I don't know, enforce the laws, lock up criminals, uh, make it safe, make it a profitable environment for these businesses to operate in. And then maybe just maybe people will stay. But again, they don't want to do that. Okay. They want to do everything except what they should do in order to incentivize businesses to stay. They just want to force businesses to stay and to try to pretend like they've actually solved the problem. But again, only thing they're doing is making the problem worse because it, again, if I'm looking to open up a grocery store in San Francisco, if this uh, proposal passes, there's absolutely no way. There's no way I would move into San Francisco knowing that they would force me to stay open and to take losses or be sued, okay, or to be sued because they don't want to step up and do what they have to do in order to stop the rampant crime in the city. Doesn't make any sense. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.